Julia Hutton is enjoying the great outdoors, talking to customers and selling her motorcycle gear at events and festivals all across the country. And we've got all kinds. But just three years ago, she was stuck in a failing brick and mortar store, depressed and wondering what she could do to fix her failing business. We would literally have days when nobody would walk in the store because there wasn't foot traffic. Bored with retirement, Julia decided to open her dream store, Biker Babes and Beyond in Cottonwood, Arizona, on a road frequented by motorcycle enthusiasts. She soon found the store was in a fluctuating state of feast or famine. The weather and an uncertain economy made the overhead associated with the store an anchor around her neck. We were there for about two and a half years, and it was a lot of fun. I mean, I, I, I really enjoyed it. I loved the people that came in. I liked their response to the store. But still, I was missing so much. When it became clear that the store wasn't profitable enough to stay open, Julia came up with a clever solution to her fluctuating foot traffic. She decided, instead of asking the customers to come to her, she would bring the store to her customers. I said, okay, you know, with this kind of overhead, we need to close the store and get mobile. And I thought, wouldn't it be wonderful if we had a trailer that was all cute and themed out inside, and then all you have to do when the event is over is close the doors and drive it to the next place and open the doors. Julia's idea was simple. With a store on wheels, she could set up shop at events like motorcycle rallies, festivals, and fairs, and bring her merchandise directly to her target customers, selling to hundreds and sometimes thousands of them at a time. You can go to the people. You don't have to sit in a store and wait for them to come to you. And that is, I mean, it's brilliant. It's a brilliant idea, and it works. In its first weekend, Julia's mobile store brought in twice the revenue that her brick and mortar store brought in over an entire week. Instead of doing $500 to $1,000 a month, we're doing $10,000 a month and up. And it's not even our season yet. It still has to warm up a little bit. This simple shift in her approach helped her failing business succeed. She quickly decided to expand her mobile business from one trailer to four. So for far less money every month, we're spread across the whole southern part of the U.S. Julia's trailer started to get noticed by other vendors on the festival circuit who were spending hours setting up and breaking down their weekend businesses in tents. Her ability to pull up, open the trailer, and be ready to go in just a few minutes was hard to ignore. Suddenly, Julia found her business spinning off into another business, outfitting trailers for other vendors who wanted to go mobile. Extreme Retrailers was born. We can help other people who, who want to become mobile. They can take advantage of all that we've learned, and boy, have we learned a lot. One of those vendors was Letha Smith. She was selling her t-shirts in a tent next to Julia at an event. She was impressed by the idea of containing her business, flinging things to a trailer. I actually decided I wanted one immediately. Extreme Retrailers does everything from top to bottom and delivers a ready-to-go store that can make a merchant mobile in a snap. Letha saw her finished trailer for the first time while our cameras were there. I love it. This is beyond what I expected. She just hit it right on the head you know she just knew exactly what I wanted and what would fit with what I do with a $15,000 investment in her bling and things trailer Lisa believes she will make her money back quickly I give it six months honestly I do because I did well with the tent can you imagine how well I'm gonna do with this at the Lake Havasu balloon festival the biker babes and beyond trailer set up shop next to Lisa's bling and things trailer so Julia could show Letha the ropes her first time out. You know, people come in, they're interested, they're, this is cool, they come in, they buy. We bought a balloon, of course. In a post-recession market, Julia Hutton's novel solution to her retail dilemma turned out to be a boon to her apparel business and a lucrative second business. Not bad for a woman who was just looking for something to do in her retirement. The fear factor of doing something that's so innovative and new, and, and I just said to myself, well, you know, the old adage, no guts, no glory, and it makes sense, and our customer feedback has been excellent, so let's give it a shot.